was driving around Phoenix the other day and I ended up finding in the alleyways you'll see these grapefruits that are planted in people's backyards and they'll hang over and you can actually pick them as you're driving in your car. You don't even have to get out, you just pick them through the window. So I ended up with about 200 grapefruits and about 100 of these little tangerines so I've been really stepping up my juice lately. These are really sweet, almost better not juice, but there's just so many of them that it's really, to catch up with them before they go bad, you almost have to start juicing. And I even use these for, in a way, fertilizer for all the citrus trees out front. We just lay them around and cover them up with grass and mulch, and this will just continuously feed the soil. And the microbes love it. I'd say about 16 to 20 ounces of grapefruit juice or any of your favorite citrus juice. You can even dilute it with some water, which I like it might become a little too sweet so add a little bit of water and then I use about a tablespoon of your favorite green powder I'm using Sun Warrior Ormus Superfood greens right now the Ormus Super greens are just really amazing and you really got to think about where they're growing them as well and they're using volcanic soil When you're doing the citrus with the green superfoods, it's a, a lot easier to sustain uh, your energies, and it's really, really cleansing. Cheers, everybody. And when you've got your residue from the Vitamix, instead of washing it out and dumping it down the drain, wash it out with some good water and then feed your plants with it. This is a goji berry that I got from Jake over at Raw Utah. She's standing up really nice, really happy. And then here are some seedlings that I've got going. So it's just like a really nutrient-rich food, and you don't even have to worry about plant food. I mean, this is Ormus Greens and a little citric uh, acid through the grapefruit juice. It's all one big cycle. And you know, a lot of people talk about how I shift around with my diet, and. For instance, I'm going to be doing a, a seven day raw vegan juice thing, like high juice, a lot of water, get, go up to Sedona, get some spring water, and that's how I do it, you know, I'm, I'm not sticking to one regimen. I'm going to do dairy kefir one day, maybe eggs and cream the next day, and I'm going to do a bunch of juice. So, you know, don't get stuck in all these one way rigid kind of guidelines. You can do whatever you feel like. Mm -hmm.